So since we last left off with you, we went on vacation, and then uh, this yeah, volley nice. has been gone on back and forth between you and John Oliver. And while we were away, you uh, you told him you will accept uh, his uh, check on behalf of the city of Danbury to the charities that he mentioned for fifty five thousand dollars, with one stipulation that he come to the ribbon cutting. Is that that's how it went out, right? Yeah, I think that's fair. I think sure. it is. I think it's fair too. And have you? I guess we usually typically hear back what, like Monday, right? Now we're going to hear back Monday or Tuesday from him. Yeah. So he's uh, not he's not putting a show out again until the twenty seventh because he's part of the one percent. He doesn't have to work, <laughs> but um, <laughs> the rest of us are at work. So he he did, and and we're very grateful for this. Pay off a lot, almost all of our teachers' requests. Uh, there's that website, I can't think of the name of it, where you can say, oh, I need a new smart board. And, you know, can you help me? Sort of like a GoFundMe for teachers. He paid all the Danbury requests off, about $26,000 worth. He did that on Labor Day. So very grateful, and I thought that was really a nice gesture on his part. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you just say off the air that you weren't going to say that on the air? No, I said, actually, we should say this on the air. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> Lou, in case you didn't know, Lou, yeah, where were you? In case you didn't know, Lou doesn't listen all that well. 